not to be? That is the question, and that is also the famous line from Shakespeare's famous play, That is Hamlet. And it is said that the famous location or the actual venue that was used for the book or for the play is this castle, and you'll find it in Denmark. This is the Kronberg Castle. is the banquet hall. So I'm guessing from the word banquet, a lot of the parties, a lot of important events happening here. I'm gonna try and tell you guys exactly what Soren just said. So this is the great banquet hall. So at that time, this was like the longest ballroom in Northern Europe. And of course, because the Danes wanted to show off to the Swedes that they had the largest ballroom, the biggest tapestries, which surrounded all these walls. So here they would have really, really extravagant parties where at the very end of the hall would be the king and the queen and then there would be long tables well like they say banquet tables over here with guests and they would each guest would be served 40 wow. 40 kilos of food and 25 what? liters 25 liters of wine damn girl for three days for three straight days at their party and then over here are these little i forgot what you call them but there's spaces in between the holes they said that there used to be like hay over here and this is where the guests would probably do their business toilet business because back then there were really no toilets and they would say that they would do their business in the hay and then the servants would pour like cinnamon and all some other perfumes to take out the stench and the servants would take away the hay and back to partying and then the king it was here where um, the king had created the it was a it was a really extravagant way of saying cheers where when he would lift his glass he would say cheers and when he did that there were drummers that were going, Zzz, Zzz. I don't know how to make sounds for drums so drummers would do that which would signal all the trumpeteers on the other side to do to play their trumpets and once the trumpets would do that that would signal the people by the cannon by the cannons to shoot off some cannonballs and to so imagine how many times they would say cheers. It's like going to a wedding and going ding, 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 ding. You're about to kiss, but this time you're shooting cannonballs. Unbelievable. <laughs> I guess I have to say, it really helps when you have a tour guide because even a place like this where it's really modern on the inside and there's really barely anything, you appreciate the history so much more because every single crevice or every tile says a story, a very interesting story at that versus a very decorated castle where you don't really know what happened but still, visual feast. This one is, what is the ear? Audible feast? <laughs> I guess. So that concludes the tour of Condor Castle, the home of Hamlet and that scaffolding. <laughs>